がしかーしやったかややったか<gasps> So let's talk about VTubers. For the past six or so years of my life, I've been a fan of anime. That's probably pretty obvious considering the type of content I'm putting out on my channel, but suffice to say I've been consuming it for a very long time. I've always enjoyed AniTubers too, who talk about these kinds of shows, and I can still remember when Kizuna AI popped up back in 2016. Little did we know that her appearance would mark the start of the VTuber craze. Lately, more and more VTubers have been popping up. There's plenty of independent creators such as Project Melody, Iron Mouse, Pikami, and more. But there's also been a VTuber talent agency that has sprung up, Hololive. Hololive has plenty of unique girls to choose from, with some stars like Koko Kiryu, Inugami Krone, and Gar Gerda. Like many of you out there, I've become quite a fan of some of these VTubers. I tune into Iron Mouse's streams regularly, and I occasionally pop into some Agudas too. They're all a lot of fun, and all of them have really unique and silly personalities. But with all that said, are they better than regular female streamers? Are VTubers better than e-girls? Yes, the title should have made that clear. We do have to go into why though to make sure everyone really understands. And a quick disclaimer as well that all of this is satirical, so don't take it seriously, unless you really want to. Reason number one, they're goofy as all hell. Now I know that some streamers try to have fun and don't really care what others think of them, but as a whole, many of them try to take themselves really seriously and crack down on anyone who displeases them. VTubers, though, they're goofy and fun, just acting like normal people who say whatever comes to mind. Gargutta's reveal stream was literally her just saying, uh, uh, and nothing else, so I think my reasoning is pretty solid. Reason number two. They can just be whatever. Since they're not limited to a physical body, they can be whatever they want, whether it's a dog, a shark, a dragon, pretty much anything. And since it's in an anime style, it doesn't look as weird as it would if it were real. So that's another plus for them. Reason number three. They're very wholesome, even if they're acting horny or lewd. This connects back a little bit to my first reason. They lay bare their hearts in front of the viewers to tell them how much they love them, or are thankful to them. Here's a clip of Mori Kallio being wholesome. I want to work even harder. I know that there are a lot of people, um, concerned, I guess. Uh, I know you don't want me to overwork myself, and I won't. I'll try to be careful. For you. And for me too, and for me too. And another one of Iron Mouse being wholesome. Thank you for helping me feel human. I love you guys so much. I... <laughs> I'll be right back. I need, to, I, I need to take a tiny break. Is that okay? All the support they're given really does mean a lot and do a lot for them. And they're much more grateful for it than some of the other streamers on the various platforms. And that is why VTubers are definitively better than e-girls. I don't really know. I just felt like talking about VTubers. Don't take any of this seriously. If you do like VTubers though, I stream with a VTuber avatar I made in 10 minutes with a free software over on twitch.tv slash whitehawkdrawing. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like or comment, or even subscribe if you're feeling daring. I've been your host Gavin here at Hitagi's Table, and I'll see y'all some other time.